Made in Hollywood. Today we're going to learn how the high octane fight choreography was created for the action comedy Bullet Train. We are on location at 87 North for the home entertainment release of Bullet Train starring Brad Pitt. I'm going to learn how the fight choreography was created for the film, which is now available on digital and Blu-ray. And I'm also going to talk to stunt actor Mike Chat. I see that many of you are, are ready for some action. We're gonna we're gonna do some things in the beginning and get you get you on your feet on the floor. We're gonna have some fun. We are gonna take a piece from the train, and uh, we'll be using the Toomey briefcase, and you will be fighting off the Bad Bunny character. We are here with stunt actor Mike Chad. He helps me through that stunt session that we did earlier. How did I do? Oh, you did great. She came in, she brought the energy, she learned the choreography, brought the character, yes. and executed. We had a whole like character development little moment where he came over and was like, okay, imagine that you have 200 years of like assassin ancestry because you're Asian and this whole thing. <laughs> I want to talk to you about being a stunt actor, specifically in Bullet Train, which is out now on digital and Blu-ray. You were one of the 17 kills. Mm -hmm. So for those who haven't seen Bullet Train yet, we don't want to give too much away, but let's talk about the character that you did play in Bullet Train. There is a segment called the 17 kills that I was lucky enough to be part of. It was all about just having a little fun, taking a hit for our, <laughs> for our director, and being part of this, you know, exclusive group of 17 people. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. It doesn't get simpler. He tries to change all his missions by taking this, like, very peaceful approach. In real life, how does Brad Pitt maintain peace in his life? He's got some lovely friends that try to stay in nature, try to stay creative, just relax. It takes a village to, to raise a Brad Pitt. You gotta make sure that he's oh. centered. You wanna make sure he's taking his vitamins. You wanna make sure. <laughs> Wait, know. so are you saying that everyone was accountable for him when you were filming this movie? We really were there for him, man. Yeah. He's incredibly needy, so you have to. <laughs> I'm a delicate, delicate <laughs> flower, and it's in my contract. It's in his contract, it's in his writer. Wow, why does that not even surprise me? <laughs> What was it like filming on the train sets? It was amazing. They created a train set in the studio and a platform too. So sometimes I felt like uh, I'm staying in a real station or in the train. There's nothing simple about this job. Is there one scene from the film that really stands out in your mind when it comes to the action? Uh, I am a huge fan of both Brad Pitt and Hiroyuki Sonata. Yeah. I mean, he is like one of Japan's, if not the most celebrated actor. He can sit there with his cane and do nothing and just captivate the audience. So true. With anticipation. It's so powerful, the stillness, right? When you, and I'm the action guy, right? But for him, it's like, I love that he can just be there and doesn't really have to do anything, and he's so he's so captivating. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting! Has led you here. Fate. Made in Hollywood. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, and as always, for more videos like this, hit the Emma HTV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.